Hey everyone, Riggity here again. We're going to go ahead and do our prison trial. We went over the heroes and how to select them. I have my heroes. One thing I did want to point out, if for some reason you try and change out your weapon and it doesn't allow you, says hero not idle, that's what that yellow flag means. That means that your march has one of those heroes in it and they are out either, you know, gathering, um, occupying somewhere in a fort like mine are right now. But make note that there's a yellow flag next to them. You won't be able to change out their weapon, so be mindful of that before you're doing any puzzle-type stuff, if that matters. All right, so going into prison trial level 10. If you haven't passed the level yet and you're doing it for the first time, you won't be able to blitz them. You'll have to fight each battle level and go up until you get to the end of both levels. If you've already done it, you can blitz your way and select your way up to the top and just fight the end battle at both levels. So starting here, how I choose which way I go is I look ahead a little bit and see which way I want to go. So I look here. I look at these three heroes. They don't really excite me at all. Um, so I don't really necessarily need to go that way. I look at this, the rate regen, 20%, the crit rate, those are pretty nice. Defense, 25%, restore, 5%. Um, for me, I do like this a lot, but I also like defense. It adds a lot of, um, reduction of the damage against you. And if I can stay alive, I don't have a problem with my attack. So I normally go towards the defensive ones. Hopefully I can get something like that further ahead. But for right now, I'm going to take the defense. Again, I won't be able to get that. That's okay. I'm able to get extra rewards. Nine extra rare ones. I'll go here. Because this leaves me in between the two. I didn't have to look at it because I have both available now. I have crit rate and attack. And I also have impale and match damage. Um, impale's not bad. I'm going to go with the crit rate. Um, I crit at higher rates, so it's actually optimal. I always go and take this guy because at level 10 he does give pretty good rewards and I pay my diamonds to get them. He's one of the only way to get Apex shards. Sometimes he gives one, sometimes he gives two that you can buy. Two is the most I've ever seen. Um, so it takes a very long time, so I always take advantage of it every time. It's kind of like getting Leia shards. It's very slow. It's a very long process, but you need to do it. So we're going to go there. We're going to buy this. Don't ask me again. Buy that. I also buy the epic one, and I spend the money on the schematic so I can do the research. Don't buy these epic ones. They're easy enough to get. I discard the rest, and we move on. I usually go towards the blue ones because they offer 12 and more points versus the yellow ones. If I'm doing the level for the first time, I definitely don't care about that. I care about the lineup of who I'm facing and which one's easier. Honestly, I would take the yellow one if I was facing the lineup because I feel that even though these yellows are not very nice, um, having Ulrich in there, he's kind of easy if you have people to control him. Um, Fox is a healer. I'd use Lavina against her. Um, and I would do all right against that lineup. With this lineup, this is a much more higher uh, offensive lineup. If E-Frame fired off at the same time that Scarlet's going to hit you and Wally's going to hit you, and then you go and heal and Mantis takes away your rage, that could be very um, problematic. Also, Tomoyo has an ability that increases attack by 100% for two rounds, unable to be dispelled. There's only a chance of that happening, but if that were to fire off when all of these people fired off and E-Frame lowered your defense... 
Uh, it's just not going to look good. So I would stay away from that lineup if I had to fight it. Okay, moving ahead. I get to the last fight. I don't really look at this too much because I'm going in with my same lineup, um, which I normally do. Fox, Scarlet, Mars, Lavina, and Lady M. Now I'll look at the lineup. I'll look at who I want to take out first. To be honest, this is a really tough lineup. I need to take out the two reds because they're very um, high-octane offense. Um, Phoenix and Scarlet. So quite depending. Blue is very strong against them. I have double blue here, so the reds will go down faster than some of the other ones. These blues are set up, so I'll just hit her with that. Didn't take much off. Never does on level 10. Go ahead. Got a pretty good one there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Trying to get my yellow out so I can silence Ulrich, likely. He just used that ability. I'd like to have Fox out so I could dispel it right now, but unfortunately I don't. Um... Gonna go ahead and get my yellow out, take the hit, silence Ulrich so he can't gain any rage. I want to get the purples off the board because I don't have any purple heroes, so just clear those off. Okay, so while he just fired off in two rounds, he's going to hit me. Um, I really don't need that much of a heal right now. But I also don't want to take too hard of a hit from this guy, and he's about to fire off. So what I'm going to do is hit Lavina on Phoenix, get her down a little bit better. I'm going to actually hold for one more turn. Just so I saw that Lee was about to fire off. And what I wanted to do is she's going to dispel whoever she put that on, that um, debuff on. So I negated that. I'm going to go ahead and hit him. See what we can do here. Good. That killed Phoenix. So Phoenix is down. Now that one down, it makes it quite a bit easier. That doesn't mean you're out of the woods yet. You still need to focus on what you're doing. I might go after Lee because he's already down with some hit points and he has a pain in the neck to deal with when he casts his things because it stops you from being full rage for a while, which is quite annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do is we see these three blue here. These red can be lined up. We can knock that out. That goes that way. He just cast that. What I'm going to do is I see that Ulrich has full rage over here. She has full rage. Um, what I'm going to do is heal up because I don't want Mars to die. That'll give me some defense for my guys to take this hit. I'm going to wait for him to cast his uh, spell or his ability, and then I'm going to cast her ability to negate it. So first thing I'm going to do is make one of these yellow grenades, hopefully get quite a bit of her rage up. Not as much as I would have liked. She got hit. He hit that. I'm going to go after him. All right. That erased his 
his defense for them. All right, I'm going to silence Ulrich to stop him from gaining rage so he doesn't cast his silly ability again. Going to make a purple grenade. That'll go off. Excellent. The reds, the yellows, and took him out. Very nice. Um, I'm probably going to silence Ulrich again and start my work on one of these other two. Although, actually, I may just silence one of them and go from there. Oof. He's still got three three um, rounds he can't gain, so I'm going to put it on her over here because she's almost full. There's nothing I can do about Wally right now. If you did put it on him, it would stay on him, but I prefer to put it on her because I don't want her firing off just yet. That worked out pretty well. Okay, so he has an ability that will increase these people's attack and their healing. So that's what I'm going to do. That was a pretty good hit right there. Let's get rid of the purples. Give me some leverage. Going to go and heal. There we go. We got the yellows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop Wally. He hits way too hard. But I'm going to keep my damage on Scarlet because she does hit hard too. Get the blues gone. There she goes. Because she does damage after she does damage. It just every round it ticks for more damage. Which is very nice. As you see, because they can't gain rage, I can just put all the damage on them. And none of these other guys gain nearly as much rage as being hit. So there's a lot of um, strategy to it that may not be apparent if you're doing it and you're not aware of it. That worked out pretty nicely. First thing I'm going to do is stop him from gaining rage. Second thing I'm going to do is hopefully hit him with Mars and deplete some of this so he can't cast. Good. Killed him, actually. We got a reward. Pretty low number of um, shards, but can't control that. We go to the second floor. We take a look. The rate regen is nice. So is the block. I'm going to go with the rate regen because I like to get my abilities at the bottom to pop faster. I'm going to take this because on the second level of Prison Trial 10, the blue ones offer the epic shards from them. The yellow ones only offer the epic ones. So definitely going here. We got four of them. That's really good. We're going to take... I don't really need to heal. What I'm going to do is take the five hit points every round. That would be a good buff if you need to do the whole every fight of this. Also, starting with 20 Rage, when you have to do the whole level and you're not able to skip ahead, those buffs are pretty um, valuable. I'm going to go ahead and get four more shards. You get to choose which ones. Impale's not bad. I'm going to go with Block because I like to stay alive as much as possible. The other thing is it pushed me that way, which if I needed one of the heroes, and Laura and Jesse would have been nice, um, but I don't feel I'll need them. I can take these shards. I didn't know if that would have been a shard or not. Take these purple ones because I have to. And then we get up to this fight, which does offer the only other place that offers the Apex besides research and that guy you can buy him off of sometimes. Um, this could pose to be a very tough lineup. We'll, we'll go ahead and see how it plays out. All right, so first things first, get rid of these purple in the middle. Go ahead up this way. 
I'm going to make the yellow grenade. Now right here, um, you could pop this yellow grenade. I'm going to save it uh, just to get more out. We'll see what happens. Uh, what I'm going to do here is pick who I'm going to go after first. <sighs> Actually going to go after uh, Chow Hao. He's usually easy to kill. Get him off the board quick. Uh, the greens are kind of set up to go right after him, so I'm going to do that. What I'm actually going to do is set up my reds. I'm going to push this green up and let these these two come up. And now I can make a red grenade right here. And I can make a green grenade over here. That worked out pretty nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop Lee from casting his... Um, rage depletion thing that I really don't like. I'm going to make the green grenade. And I'm going to go after Chow. One. Two. Get some blues. Okay, this looks pretty nice. We're going to take him out. Okay, so our next target's probably going to be Tomoyo. We'll see about that. Do this. Hit her with that, hit her with that. Get rid of the purples, the blues, the yellows. We're gonna make the green bomb there. But first, I wanna stop her from depleting my rage over here on Atropis, silence her. Just removing any effects, any negative effects I had on me. I didn't need to heal. I probably should have checked if I actually had any on me. That guy's gone. And let's see. Sometimes some go down easier than others. Kind of just have to test them by hitting them. There's the double rage I got for the greens going up into the hole between the two heroes, and he lit up pretty quickly. I'm going to go over here and attack him so he doesn't cast his thing on all my lit up heroes. He went down pretty well. We're going to bring the blue down so this red one goes up and this red one goes up. And it will probably be enough to light up Scarlet. If you watch, boom. Scarlet got lit. And you see Lee just took off the light on um, Lavina. So what I'm going to do is, even though I don't need to actually heal, I'm going to remove that effect. So when I do get some more blues... Um, I will be able to get that. Um, she won't keep r losing out on full rage, is how I should say it. Okay, that leaves me two heroes. What I'm going to do is get my blues. And hit Lavina over here with that. 
Get rid of the purples. Noticed I could have taken something on this side of the board, but I'm working on this hero, so I'm staying over here if possible. So what I'm going to do is, she might be dead soon. I'm going to use Lady M's ability on this one since I know she'll be alive. Um, you could just use Mars first and see if it kills Atropis, which is what I'll do. It didn't, but I'm still confident I'll get her down before she can get her rage up, so I'm still going to use Lady M over here. And get the blues, and she's dead like I thought. What, as it progresses, you can click on this button right below the exclamation point. It tells you it's round 24, and your damage is 140%. So keep in mind, you're going to do a lot more damage than you did in the beginning rounds. And also, they're going to do more damage against you. So you need to be mindful about the change in damage as the match wears on okay so we're just going to kill the final one hopefully get a nice reward get rid of the purple one since we don't need them that's nice i got lady m to pop again so that'll mean i won't get hit by nam Huel. that'll pop that get rid of them hopefully die not yet And boom, we got three Apex Shards, not the highest you can get, but better than you can get anywhere else since that's one of the only places you can get it. If you look in your exchange, you can only buy Epic, Rare, or Uncommon, or the, the schemes to um, do it. What I do is I try and save up 20,000 points and wait for a break loose and do my prison trial, which gets me about half the points. And then the 20,000 will get me the other half, which is about 400,000. If you have any questions about how I went about this prison trial or specifically about your prison trials, please reach out to me and let me know. Hopefully this was helpful for you with your prison trials. I will be following up with some of my farms, which may be more along the lines with the heroes that you use. Thank you and good luck.